Hello everyone, my name is Uh Owen. Today, today we're doing some more Tropico 4. Previously, we actually continued this pretty legit quest to acquire 51% of the shares in the Frutas Corporation. And as you can see, we're doing quite well. We got 40 out of 50. Uh, we managed to restore our economy, which means we are making tons of money again. We're getting the big bucks. And everything seems to be going alright, so hopefully it continues. I'm just going to hit start here. And we're going to get started. I'm not sure what we really have to do, to be honest. I mean, we have to f hire some generals, I guess, but we already have, like, three of them. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, militarists. I'll build you a whole new armory just for you. And we'll build it, like, right across the street. There we go. Problem solved. Yeah, I think everything's pretty much going well, so at this point, all we really have to do is sit around and wait for the money to come in. We're probably actually going to get to the next mission today, which would be fan-fucking-tastic. Of course, the objective is to acquire 51% of the shares. I'm assuming that when I acquire 50% of the shares, asshole McGee over there is going to fucking buy out, like, hundreds of them. It's going to completely wipe out my percentage. Or something's going to happen that's going to prevent me from immediately acquiring the extra 1%, which is awful, but, you know, that's just typically how these missions work. Oh, we need a trade ship to come in, like, now, so I can get the big bucks, so I can buy the last 10% of the share. I think I'm buying it at 10% each now instead of 5%, which is, of course, good for me, because that would actually put me to 50%. Here comes the ship. Yeah, this island's going pretty well. I don't know if we've actually been on this island before or not. Okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard to tell, because they've already started reusing islands, and I've already forgotten some of the islands. I, I think that other island is one of the few islands I'd actually remember. So it is very possible we've been on this island and have done things on this island before, and I have no recollection of them whatsoever. Oh yeah, we made the big bucks. Are you ready for this? Bam. Bam! We got it, 50% shares. Now, we're gonna get fucked in the ass somehow, because of course we're going to. It's only... It only makes sense, right? Alright, I'm, I'm waiting for Keith, whatever the fuck his name is, to actually do something. Come on, Keith, what you got up your sleeve this time? What you fucking got? Oh, he's gonna crash my game, that's what he's gonna do. Ultimate kick in the balls right there, just crash the game. You can't finish the mission, you can't buy more stock. What? Fifty percent of Frutas Limited. The company is almost ours. All we have to do is secure the last one percent of these stocks. Sin Ninjas. Yes, this is it. Remember the the um the trading program we had going on on the other island where our preschool or whatever was being used to train ninjas? Well, I wasn't fucking lying. Let's do it. and secretive folk. In order to be able to negotiate with them, we must send our best experts in subterfuge. Okay, so I have to establish the secret police. Okay, fair enough. Oh, wrong tab. Edicts. I'm assuming that's going to be under a general edict. Uh, no. Uh, it's going to be under the interior then. Yes, it is under the interior. We don't have an interior minister. In fact, we don't have any ministers. Let me fix that real quick because I get the feeling we're going to need ministers. I've never... What the hell? What, what kind of guy is this guy? I've never seen that character model before. Is that like a fucking... Is that, is that another El Prez in disguise come to infiltrate the island? It better not be. Uh, what about education? I mean, I don't think you need very good courage for education. So I'm gonna get... You. I don't know. You might need some good courage. Especially with the type of education we're doing here on Tropico. You know... We got, like, a ninja training program. We've got a fucking... Almost what is essentially a child slave farming program. Um, then we've got, like, a military program. So maybe it requires some courage, maybe. And then you have to deal with the fact that if you fail at your job, you'll be immediately killed. But, you know, maybe we don't need someone that's courageous for that. Maybe we need someone that's really weak so that they can bend to Macho's will more effectively. Um, I like you. We're actually getting a lot of good people. He says coming to this. Eh, fucking hell. We can do you. 
you're you're fairly okay. Um, we need someone that's pretty much good at everything for the military, and unfortunately, we don't have anyone, so we ain't doing shit with the military. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Like the military perk, like the defense minister, you need to you literally need to have someone that's exceptionally intelligent, an exceptionally good leader, and is exceptionally courageous. You have to have all three traits pretty much maxed out in order for that thing to even work. Muy buena. The, okay, where is this guy? Because I've never Good actually seen this guy before. What? Where did he used to work? Is he like a construction worker or something? Because usually the outfits these people wear are the results of their place of occupation. So that means that there must be a location here that actually hires people with that outfit. I don't see it. Yeah, where the fuck is it? Hmm, that's very odd. Apparently it just doesn't exist. But it's got to. It, it literally has to. There's no way that it... Unless this is like the one random guy that might act... Oh, there it is! Customs office. He was a customs officer. Okay. Problem solved. Why the fuck do all the custom officers have fucking those weird shades? I forget what they're called, but... You know, they're, they're really thick shades that you always see in fucking movies where the badass cop usually has them on as he's busting the crims. Why the fuck is every single person in our customs office wearing those? I mean, you're not fucking cops, guys. I'm not sure if you got the memo, but you're not here to stop drugs. You're here to make sure that our drugs get out. You're not following the law. You're breaking the law, technically. So, you know... Oh, I get it. They're RPing. Okay, so here's what's going on here. Macho Man has probably ordered these guys to dress up as much as cops as they possibly can so that when foreign affairs come in and they're like, all right, well, um, we're going to make sure that you're not smuggling illicit goods off the island, they're like, hey, we're not going to be smuggling stuff. We're cops. You, you can totally tell by the uniform. And then, of course, they load the crack and the marijuana and they load all of the stuff that... Macho Man produces every day on these islands, and they ship it out to random countries, probably like the U.S. The U.S. is probably the biggest buyer, let's be honest. It's kind of their own fault, too. Oh, yeah, we just made some big ones. 70,000. All right, so now we actually... I think we actually have to assign the secret police now. Now, where where would I put the secret police? What, 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 what building would they actually use? Hmm. You see, it has to be... We can put them in the church, but I don't think the religious people would like that very much. And at that point, they might as well not be the secret police anymore. They'd, they'd just be the fucking Inquisition. Uh... I mean, putting it in the military building is way too obvious. But fuck it. We're gonna put it in the military building because... I don't really feel like appeasing the militarists. I think that they're actually pretty fine with us right now. Yeah, we don't actually need to do anything with them. They're they're pretty happy with us. They're like 95% happy. Alright, so we have a secret police station now established, which essentially means... Okay. So how do I get... Oh, secret agents are already automatically being hired. Okay, that's good. There we go, we got it. Presidente, it turns out that we do not have enough money to afford the expensive services of Japanese. Why the fuck are we going to Japan or China? We've got our own ninja program. Uh, maybe Macho Man just doesn't want to unleash them on the world yet. Okay, fair enough. But we should definitely be able to afford the Japanese ninjas. I mean, we got 161,000 big ones down there. I don't think this should be a problem. Uh, they say that this exotic ninja clan can get the job done just as well, and for a much lower price to boot. In order to avoid suspicion, we must first send our secret agents on a trade mission to the USSR in order to establish a contact with the ninja clan. Issuing a trade mission edict, however, is not an easy task, as we must first construct a full-fledged airport in order to get the expedition off the ground. Yeah, I, I, I called it. I called it. It was never going to be as simple as just buying the stock. Nope, we got to build a fucking airport now. Fair enough, I guess. Though, this is going to bring tourists, though. I, I really don't want to bring tourists to my island. Because this is not an island you should be wanting to tourist to. I'm, I'm just saying. It's, it, it's just the truth, you know. 
I mean, we could just put it on the end of the road here. I don't think we're going to be expanding this direction. Kind of a weird landing path. Like, you, you, the plane literally has to fly over this mountain and then suddenly take a sharp dive down in order to land. Then again, uh, I don't think Majin Man was the best when it comes to, you know, architectural design and planning. I don't know if you've been watching my series so far, but yeah, he's pretty bad at it, just as I'm very bad at it, as you can clearly tell. This is not a very well thought out city. Come on, bring in the big ones. Where's my guys to bring in the big ones? They're not going to get there. They're not going to bring in the big ones, are they? Nope. They're not going to bring in the big ones, and then someone's getting executed. Jesus Christ. Fucking traffic. I'll execute every single driver in that traffic jam. Come on, move. I know it's my fault for designing the streets like this, but I don't fucking care. Move your ass. Yeah, you put the big ones on there. Yeah, that's what I like to fucking see. 186,000. Alright, so now we have to do a trading mission with the USSR, but to do that we need to get this airport finished. And I do that, we have to wait a little bit. I'm sure the US is going to love us for doing this too. They're totally not going to invade us in any way. That's actually a good question. If I built a US military base in this island, and I pissed the US off, would the U.S. military base cancel out the U.S. invasion? Is that a thing? Because that would be absolutely amazing. I mean, I guess it could in a way, because, like, you know, their, their military base is over here. And if they declare war on us, then, well, we got their military base. You know, those guys, they, they've probably been supplied with the most minimal amount of weapons possible. They actually know, never mind. I'm pretty sure the U.S. knows that El Prez is here, so if I built a U.S. base here, they'd probably send fucking SEAL Team 6 up there. They'd probably just plan on invading at this point. It's hard to forget. Well, not hard to forget. It's actually kind of easy to forget that, you know, El Prez has been framed for a big, large-scale political assassination. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, this airport is taking literal decades to build. I don't know what our construction workers think they're doing. What are what do you guys think you're doing? Apparently, they're just wandering around like assholes. Come on, get to work. Fucking dicks. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Well, shit. No! You better not knock our oil tanker to the shore. I'm gonna be fucking pissed if you knock our oil tanker. You can kill this one. I don't give a shit. Only $18,000 for, like, all the things we've just lost. Try giving that $18,000 to the 15 family victims over there. I'm sure they'll appreciate... Actually, they probably would. $15,000 in this time period. God knows. That's probably... It's probably close to the millions, actually. Gotta keep in mind that this is not... Oh, fuck. We lost a lot of crap. I'm gonna need to quick build. We gotta keep in mind that this is not necessarily... A negative three. Oh, Jesus. This is not necessarily the... Um, most prosperous place. And in this time period, there wasn't a lot of inflation. So if we're going by U.S. dollars, uh, 15000 is actually a pretty hefty sum. 